What's going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Gamer Duo here today with another special day of the Pokemon Y2 Randomizer. So look, I'm hyped. I have my caffeine. We're all good to go. Anyway, this starter choice was insanity. We literally tied on the video, so I had to legitimately take to Twitter and see what our starter choices ended up being. It was a little bit wild. I've never had that happen ever, ever, ever before. So let's go ahead, get into this because we got to figure out who's the starting family member, as Beegers would say. Beegers, 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 Beegers is a freaking legend. Got to get those claps in there. Beegers a legend. Everybody who I collab with is a freaking legend, let me tell you. Anyway, another legend is, it's the legend of Metamec. So, it was kind of crazy. So, I told you the starter votes were tied. And I was like, okay, what do I have to do? I have to take to Twitter, figure this out, because I want to get this recording for you, because I have three series is ending, kind of crazy, and I need to get this one pumping and going, because if I don't get this one pumping and going, you guys aren't getting content, so I need to get this pumping and going. So I took it to Twitter, and it was tied on Twitter, and I was like, oh my god, I can't make this decision, y'all. So it was hilarious, because Metamec had chosen a specific starter that wasn't even on the, like, poll anymore, because he was the only one that voted for it, and... He was the one that broke the tie. He broke the tie, and then after he broke the tie, it was all this mod from here. So, let's get this going. We have the three starter choices. Once I can actually click my thing. Um, and breaking the fourth wall, we do have Cage Lock Finale rendering as we speak. So, if you hear a little sometime in the video, you probably will. It's Cage Lock saying it's done. You got to premiere the thing. Um, so if you didn't check it out, you got to check it out. Lots of things happen trying to hit 600. We can do this We got to do 600 so we can do a sword and shield Soul link sleep block with Jonas for 600, but we have to do it by Tonight if we don't get 600 by tonight The sleep block ain't happening for a while So you guys want to break it tonight so we can have it on Monday so it can be on both channels Gotta do it tonight But anyway, let's get into this we have the water type Samurai. We have the bug type Crooked Tube. That was the worst cry of that ever. Everybody probably has done way better impersonations of that. And Celebi. So, first off, Madamek was the only one that voted for Samurai. So, the tied ones ended up being Celebi and Crooked Tube. In the beginning, they were tied on Twitter. And then, one of these Pokemon broke off to have a 10 to, vo 10 to 4 victory on Twitter. That Pokemon ended up being Celebi. Celebi took the lead, did her thing, or its thing, because I don't think Celebi actually has a gender. And so Celebi is the starter Pokemon that we are going to have. The starter family member, as Beaker would stay Beegers would say. I'm excited though. We're out here adding it to the layout. It's all fine and dandy. I don't know what moves this thing is going to have. All I do know is that it was kind of an interesting starter choice because no matter what I chose, it would help me out anyway. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera down because I dive down a lot. And I don't want to dive down and then not be seen because that's a little bit of an issue. So we're going to tilt the camera a little bit further down. So that if I do end up, or when I dive down, it's like this instead of, whoa, I'm off the screen. <laughs> so, we got this. We started a choice. Is Celebi. We got to nickname it. And we're going to nickname it Metamech. I'm, I know Metamech's not, like, a Celebi guy, but he's the one that broke the tie. So, like, it has to be named Metamech. Like, I see no reason not to name it Metamech. Meta. Like, he legit broke the tie. Which was kind of, it was kind of a fun story. And I, that's the one that I will remember for a long time. So we're going to hit OK. Say we are totally fine with that. Metamec, welcome to the squad. Yeah, Metamec is the best name. Also, I'm recording it as well. And it's Metamec's wife's birthday. So send her some happy birthday. I know that technically it was yesterday, Metamec. But I got to send her some love. It's her birthday. Um, breaking the fourth wall all the time. That's, I guess that's what today's episode's going to be. Breaking the fourth wall. We had three finales. I can break the fourth wall as, you know, that's totally fine. Let's, oh, shoot. Well, we're going to find out in a second after Aaron decides that, you know, he wants to use Samurai on a Celebi. Um, 
I don't know. Aaron, I feel like having Aaron as the rival is going to be really funny because, you know, cage lock finale just ended yesterday. So, got to bring him back into the series somehow. Because Aaron's an amazing person. Really, really, really good. Love hanging out and talking to him. So, I probably should just... I should not just be jumping into this battle, but I am anyway. I don't have Pokeballs. So it doesn't matter. Um... I don't know what Celebi's going to have because it is random, preferring same type. So Celebi could have some great moves. It could also have hot garbage. So I'm interested to see what we end up getting. I'm hoping it's going to be at least one good move. All I feel like I need is one good move. We have Magic Room, Energy Ball. Thank, thank you. We have Energy Ball. Woo! We got it. Okay, Grass Pledge and Solar Beam. Solar Beam, two-turn move, gotta be gone next time we learn a move. Uh, Grass Pledge is actually okay. I think it gets better in Sun and Moon, though, because it's 80 base power. But Grass Pledge is definitely the worst of the Pledge moves, so we definitely want to get rid of that as well if we get a Psychic type move. We got Burnt. He has Scald. Of course, of course Aaron has Scald and gets we get this literally five seconds in, we're already Scald Burned. <laughs> Go figure. Woo! Gotta love it. Okay. Anyway, we gotta love our Scald Burns. We deal with it. <laughs> We're special, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I freaked out over it, but whatever. We defeated Aaron with his scald burning tactics. Yeah! Now, Aaron is going to keep that Samurai, which means we got to be worried about stupid freaking scald freaking burns. I hate scald. Scald is an annoying move. I love it in competitive, but I hate using it and seeing it any other place. I didn't even know scald was in this game, so... I learned something new today. Surprise! John learned something new. When doesn't that happen, though? John can... I can be, like, terrible at training Pokemon. So, like, I don't expect it. I did not send you a link. Oh, I did, I guess. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. The da 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 dum Pokemon Center. We love the da 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 dum Pokemon Center. I'm really curious about what our encounters are going to be, only because Bianca gives us 10 Pokeballs to start out, which is nice. But I'm also, like, very, very nervous. Yeah, so she gives us the 10 Pokeballs, and we got to do good. Honestly, I feel like we can, and we can do really good, but I'm also very, very nervous about what's to come. So I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to buy 17, because that gives us 27. Nope, that's wrong. I need to buy 12 so that we can buy four potions. Because potions are important. They'll keep a Celebi alive. Because Celebi is quad weak. Our Nuzlocke literally starts in immediately. Celebi is quad weak to bug. So if we come across a bug type Pokemon, it could be dangerous. So I don't want to die like, in the first five seconds and have to do another choose my starter. But, I'm glad we get, like, all this stuff immediately in this game. That's why I like Black and White 2, because it literally, it gives you what you need immediately and you don't have to go searching for it. And some games do that and others don't. Like, Sapphire, Gen 3 does to a degree. Um, so that's nice, but Gen 4 doesn't. Um, which is kind of annoying. Gen 5 does, which is great. But we'll figure this out as we go. Oh, okay. Papa. Papa. I was asleep. Okay. I, I know this. I figured. Um, I'm, like, looking at my DMs, which is probably not a great thing while I'm recording. But whatever. Cool. Um, Pokemon Center, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care. These people are taking all my time away when I need to do stuff. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't care about the Pokedex. I mean, I should care about the Pokedex. But she's going to teach us how to catch Pokemon. Hi, Purloin. I didn't randomize the catching tutorial on purpose because I didn't want stupid things to happen. Because I think, I don't think she attacks. Oh, no, she does. Okay. So, I, yeah, I'm glad I didn't randomize the catching tutorial because it could have been very bad very quick. Um, it could have been a happening. It could have evolved two levels for no apparent reason. I've had that happen before, hence why I'm saying that. Um, literally had Dawn's Chimchar attack a happening, kill it, 
gain two levels, level up, and start a re-looping. So, don't randomize catching tutorial. That is just some knowledge for y'all. Don't randomize catching tutorial. Especially if you have John Luck, just don't even try. Because it, it turns out bad. <laughs> it really does. And I hate to say it, but it does. You can catch Pokemon now. Go to Flo Assessi Town. I don't care about Flo Assessi Town. I'm going to be honest. I do not care. We have a... Uh... It's a Beakers! We were literally talking about Beakers and now we have a Beakers! Oh my gosh! It's a Beakers! <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm like being super hyped today, but... It's literally a Beakers! How can you not be hyped? It's a freaking Beakers! I'm gonna Glass Pledge it, because you should not die to Grass Pledge! It's a Beakers! I'm so happy! It's a Beakers! It took us five seconds to find a Beakers. That's, that's... This is when you know we're gonna do good. We got a Beakers and a Celebi. And I didn't get it into the red. And it's confused. Like, we are... We've got a, we've, we're connected today. We've, we're connected today. Come on, Beagers. Catch, now, nah, come on, you can catch this. Come on, you're a Beagers. You're a good Beagers. Apparently, you're not a good Beagers because you don't like me today. What did you just use? I click off for five seconds. Oh, you transformed yourself into grass type. I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. Thing. It's a weird thing, but it's not a bad thing. Okay. Come on, be Beakers! You are confused, Beakers. You are confused. I don't know why Beakers has a lot of normal type moves, because he's definitely not a normal type, and he's definitely got two normal type moves, which is weird. I don't know if I appreciate that or not. Oh, no. Don't do a lot. Snap out, snap out, snap out, snap out, snap out. Come on, Beakers. Snap out, snap out, snap out. Do not kill yourself in confusion. Just don't kill yourself in confusion. Just be caught, please. Please, please. Oh, you like that Premier Ball? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Beakers. You love that Premier Ball. It actually really works. Premier Balls actually do. They really, really, really work with Gardevoir. Like, the color scheming and everything, I like it. Nickname Gardevoir? Oh, yeah! It's a Beakers. I don't care if it's a female. It's Beakers the Gardevoir because we name everything Beakers. We name all our Beakers Gardevoir. That's how we do it. <laughs> that I just find that hilarious. B-E-A-G-E-R-S. Beakers! Like, I've made that joke and that joke's been on the channel since the beginning. That joke ain't changing. Ever. Ever, ever. Because I'm just going to always remind myself of that every time I see a Gardevoir. That's just how life works. Well, let's check out our boy Beakers. Um, or let's not check out our boy Beakers because we're going to crash. You've got to be kidding. You've really got to be kidding right now. <laughs> We're still going to catch the Beagers, but really? Really, game? Sometimes I hate... I, I Sometimes I hate John Luck. This is one of those times we are literally in the best part of our recording and... Crash! Anyway, see you in five seconds when I fix the dang crash. Okay, we're back. We're back in action. Um, we fixed it. It's a week later. We're getting it ready. Everything's all fine and dandy. We have Metamech, who actually leveled up because I realized the XP was not on. So we fixed that. So we had to re-randomize the ROM. We fixed it. We fixed his moves. And everything's good there. And then Beakers. Beakers is alive and well as well, which we kind of want to see as Excuse me, we look at the summary we caught in the Premier Ball. It says Route 1. I am wrong when I put her, put him back in the game. I know Beakers is a girl in this case, but, you know, it's okay. So, we got Camouflage, Thrash, Guard Swap, and Confusion. Unfortunately, negative special attack nature. 
which we can't really control. But that's okay. So we got it working. Everything's back to normal. We did not get this item, so it doesn't matter that this isn't randomized. This is an eject button, which is totally fine and dandy. Um, I have no idea what's on that route, but I'm not even going to worry about what would have or could have been on that route. After we randomized it, we got Beakers, and Beakers is the way to go. Um, I gave Beakers the two moves that I knew it had, and then two eh moves. Um, so, one was Guard Swap. Not going to be used very much. And the other one was Confusion, just a basic Psychic Attack. I It wouldn't have used any Psychic Attacks on a Psychic Grass type. So, I figured it would have at least a stab because of the way I randomized it. It was preferring same type. So, that's what we did. We gave it a preferring same type. We gave it one of the worst psychic type moves. For fairness, because I want it to be all fair and square. I don't believe that being not fair and square is right. So, we did that. We made sure that was the case. Um, the other thing we got to make sure that is the case is we get rid of our Pokeballs that we did end up using on Beagers. So, we used four regular Pokeballs and the Premier Ball. So, all that going in the trash. Got to be as fair and square as possible. And that's what happens. So, um, we also actually have to trash a potion. Because I know I used a potion as well. So, we do actually have to trash another potion. Ah, 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 ah. No, not two. We only need to trash one. I'm just being as fair as I can on screen because that's what we did use. So, but I bought all of the stuff for what I, because I had to redo everything. So, I did buy everything again. So, my money count is the same and everything. We just had to trash things because there's no beers on that route. But, we caught it. So, unfor yeah. unfortunately, things did change. I don't like the fact that it had to do it that way. But, I did. So, we are going to go ahead. It is raining, kind of like it is in real life right now. Rain just is not going to go away, apparently. The rain just going to stay with us forever. Go on forth to Route 20, child. Okay, we'll go on forth to Route 20. But yeah, I will change the fact that the hometown is Route whatever route it was. I think it said Route 1 because my brain went, ah, I think it's Route 1. No, it's Route 20. Or it's Route 19. Route19.com. I know it's Route 19. I know it's Route 19. Don't harp on me in the comments. About saying it's it's VAT. Didn't you know it's VAT 19? Yes, I did know it's VAT 19. Oh, hi, Volcarona. Hi, Pokemon that is, I am weak to, to both stabs. I love you so very much. Oh, God. The very first trainer already gets us in peril. Oh, no. <laughs> the very first trainer! Are we really gonna lose already? Why did you have Bug Buzz or something? I don't have a move for it. Okay, Beagers. You're gonna die right now, but we can't live with it. Oh no. Flare Blitz! <laughs> Beegers isn't dying to that, luckily. Beegers can take Flare Blitz. Um, I'm actually going to Camouflage. Because that'll turn me into like a Fire type. Beegers having Camouflage might have just been the best thing ever. Transformed into a Ground type. <laughs> camouflage actually coming in clutch. What is this? That is my question. What in the world is this? Camouflage just came in handy. I don't know. I really don't know. But camouflage just got used in a Nuzlocke. That's something I would never think of doing in my life is using camouflage in a Nuzlocke. But it's Beegers. And Beegers has to find creative ways to make this interesting. That's literally what Beegers does. Beegers finds awesome, fun, creative ways to make things interesting. So, it's no surprise that the Pokemon named Beegers is going to be the Pokemon that does something interesting, weird, and all the hyper things. Confusion. Silverwind. You do have a bug type move. Oh my god, that did absolutely nothing. 
<laughs> oh, that did nothing at all. Ah, I, I that 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 was bad. That was all bad on all of counts. All accounts. That was bad. At least it's hitting itself and recoil, and that might be what saves me here. Uh, Volcarona versus this Volcarona. I'm gonna thrash. It seems. Oh wait, that locks me in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Flame wheel. That's not gonna kill. I. This is why we love our boy Beakers, cause Beakers does this stuff. Beakers knows what he's doing. Wait, is there another Pokemon? I don't think there's another Pokemon. I went for Thrash, assuming that there's not another Pokemon. Oh no. Is there a second one? It's okay, Beakers is leveling up. That's good. That's what we wanted. Is there another one? Oh, we're trying to learn Miracle Eye. <laughs> Heck no! We ain't learning Miracle Eye. Sorry, Beakers. Okay. I was like, oh, is there another? I was like so worried that there was a second Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Beakers. You don't have to scare me like that, my dude. You really don't have to scare me like that. Because, holy cow. That, that could have gone very bad very fast. But we got out of it. We got out of it. So, and then we have another trainer. Which hopefully won't have a more type. Because we are very weak to that. So seeing Volcarona immediately was probably the scariest thing to see. Dawn fan. Great, it's a Naruto. That I can handle. That I can really, really handle because it's just, it's a Naruto. It's it's pretty bad. Um, and I say it's pretty bad even though it's a good Pokemon. It's just not good for the, against, or against our team. Like, our team can handle it very well. Like, yeah, it literally only survived because of Sturdy. It's going to be like five damage to me. Oh, no, even less. Okay. I don't want to use all my energy balls. So if I can do that, that's preferred. Metamec, 150 experience points, level 11, we got that. Yeah, like, we get, you get experience, like, bam, 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 bam in this game. It's a little crazy how fast everything happens. Oh, uh, 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 give me that. Black Sludge, okay. You know, actually, a poison type would be very, very nice right now. I would love a poison type. No, <laughs> we got a chance. <laughs> okay. Not quite what I was expecting. But I actually really don't mind it because it's very, very, it's very specially bulky. And it should live a grass pledge. And if it doesn't, I get mad experience anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't live a grass pledge. That chance, he just gave me 46 six pay. What? I thought Chansey was an experienced Pokemon. Huh? Sorry, I'm still royally confused about that. Only because it just... I thought, like I said, I thought it was supposed to be a Pokemon that you get a lot of experience from. But I didn't get hardly any. Like, I might get more from this Wooper. Oh, no, I'm not going to get more from the Wooper. But, like, really? I guess this, I guess this is the way this game's experience goes. That makes a little bit of sense, but not as much as I would have anticipated. Okay. Faloa Sessi Ranch. We got a... <laughs> like, we can catch this, actually. And I believe it. I believe that we can get this. I really do. Okay, this is resisted. Resisted Grass Pledge. Should do absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Psycho Shift? Okay. I see you. Metal Burst. What does that do? Not much. Okay. So I'm going to Grass Pledge a third and final time. Hopefully this gets you in the red. Yes, it does. Yes. Okay. We might have a weird team 
I don't know what Magic Room does. Let me see what Magic Room does. Because I legit have absolutely no clue what it does. That would be under Pokemon. Matamek. In battle, I know. Summary. Check moves. Magic Room. Creates a bizarre area in which Pokemon's held items lose their effect. Okay, so literally nothing. Good. Um, so that's a move I can stall with if I need to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of our Pokeballs. If we can catch this Jirachi, I highly doubt it. I really do. I highly doubt that we'll catch it. It's too early in the game. But... Why not try, right? There's no reason not to try. So, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like we probably won't catch it, but if we do, it'll be, oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? What is this? I don't know. My, what? Bro, we just caught a Jirachi and two Pokeballs. Hello? Are we, uh, uh, I'm gonna name it Chill, I guess. Uh, I'm brain dead, and I should probably end the recording because my brain just does not comprehend the fact that we just got a Drachi. And my brain's like, what? My brain's gonna die. So, I should probably end the recording here before my brain decides that, um, guess, guess what? You're not gonna be able to say any words, as I repeated myself three times, natural time on the Gamer Duo. Um, anyway, I'm gonna save right here. Before that, though, we're gonna check Jirachi out. Jirachi has an item. Jirachi has an item. The, the ring target? <laughs> it's got the ring target. That's like a pointless ability. That's a pointless item, but okay. That's kind of funny, because that means we could have attacked it with literally anything. Uh, summary. It has Magna Bomb, Metal Burst, Steel Wing, and Psycho Shift. Has Serene Grace. Um, it's a plus special attack, minus speed nature, which is the worst nature for it, but that is okay. We are down for that. Magna Bomb, is there anything? Raise the user. We have a thing that reads this defense stats. We can mess with Serene Grace so much. That's just weird. I, yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We had some issues, but we got it figured out. We're gonna train our Jirachi and go to the next first gym next time. Peace out, y'all.